I've been a property agent for so many years and I've concluded there are only three different kinds of properties in Singapore. And when I'm saying this, I'm speaking strictly from a financial perspective. Of course, there will be properties, some that meets your needs, some don't meet your needs, and there are a million different kinds of properties like penthouses, landed, HDB. But strictly from a financial point of view, there are three types of properties. The first one is what I call a sprinter property. A sprinter property typically experience a price growth in the early years, typically from 0 to 10 to 15 years, when the property is new, there's hype, there's novelty, there's a lot of properties property transactions pushing up the valuations of the condo. So these are what we call sprinter properties. And second one, we have what we call the marathon properties. Now marathon properties are kind of like your blue chip stocks, right? You don't expect them to experience a significant price growth over the years, neither do you expect them to experience a price dip. There is a very good chance that for marathon properties, the price would go stagnant either on a gradual upslope or a gradual decline but nothing too drastic. So what are some of the cons when you're looking at a marathon property would be you might not be able to recover the cost of ownership. So it's a very common phenomenon buying at 1 million, selling at 1 million. So in between all the cost of ownership you will not be able to recover the money. So the last one is what I call a trophy property. Now a trophy property basically is something that you buy to fulfill your needs and your emotions and it's just something that you just want to show case to the world that you are able to afford it. And when people buy trophy properties, they don't usually expect the price to go up significantly or to come down significantly. It's basically a symbol status. So trophy properties are quite volatile in price. When it appreciates, it can go up by a lot. And when the market is not doing well, there is no new rich people coming into the market. Trophy properties can experience the biggest hit. So if you're in the market looking to do an upgrade, downgrade, you want to buy something or sell something, always be clear of your financial objectives, your risk appetite, and from there you can identify which are the kind of properties that will suit your financial objectives. Of course, buying a property is a very emotional thing, above and beyond considering what you should pay for, what you can afford to lose, and what you stand to gain, you also have to look at which are the properties that fits your needs. Alright, so that's all I have for you today, and if you have any other questions you'd like me to cover, get in touch with me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and my website, and I'll see you in the next video.